Time for Rewarding Moments in Redskins History, presented by the Maryland Lottery, My Lottery Rewards. I'm Larry Michael. I want to take you back to 1964. The Redskins have a new quarterback on board from the Philadelphia Eagles. His name is Sonny Jurgensen. They've also got a very good rookie out of Arizona State. His name, Charlie Taylor. Let's look back, 1964. Washington Redskin Highlights, presented in cooperation with the American Oil Company and its dealers, who offer you the finest products and service for your car. I'm Jim Gibbons, and this familiar pump is the one to look for when you want certified lead-free Amoco gasoline. Look for this sign, the only one, and this bright red American final filter right at the pump nozzle. You'll find both at American oil dealers everywhere. In 1964, the Washington Redskins finished tied for third place in the Eastern Conference. The Redskins got off to a slow start, but closed strong by winning six of their final 10 games. Washington came up with two of the finest rookies in the NFL, and rabid Redskin rooters turned out in droves to cheer the exploits of the newcomers, as well as their veteran stars. Right now, we're going to relive the most exciting moments of the Redskin season. Before a sellout crowd at D.C. Stadium, the Redskins tackle the Eagles. Washington and Philadelphia traded quarterbacks during the offseason, and this will be their first confrontation. In the opening period, Washington attacks. Fullback J.W. Lockett splits the Eagle defense for 14 yards. <laughs> Quarterback Sonny Jurgensen commences to haunt his former playmates as he pinpoints Bobby Mitchell with a 29-yard completion. On a third down and long yardage situation, Jurgensen confers at the sideline with head coach Bill McPeak. The conference proves worthwhile as Jurgi steps to the firing line. Sonny hurls a honey to Bobby Mitchell and it's touchdown, Washington. The next time the Redskins get the ball, Jurgensen beats an eagle blitz with a trick he learned while studying under the incomparable Norman Van Brocklin. It's a screen pass to J.W. Lockett, and the play goes all the way. Jurgi is making the Eagles eat crow as he passes the Redskins to a fast 14-point advantage. Late in the second half, Jurgensen continues to be Devil the Eagles. Preston Carpenter totes an out pattern pass to the Philadelphia 24. There's a flag on the play, and Jurgensen is in obvious disagreement with the officials, who alleged that an ineligible receiver was downfield. As is the custom, the officials win the discussion. Undaunted and undismayed, Jurgensen hangs in there and Sonny throws for the money. The pass sails some 50 yards. Bobby Mitchell provides a one-man reception committee and in one big play, Washington travels to the Philadelphia Nine.
with 15 seconds left in the half, Sonny rifles a pitch to Mitch as Washington strikes it rich. Thanks to three touchdown passes by Sonny Jurgensen, the Redskins race away to a cozy 21-point halftime spread. The muffled Eagle offense perks up in the third period as Tim Brown packs a pitch out to a touchdown. The green and white have just begun to fight. That man Brown is back in the scene, romping through the Redskin reservation for 36 yards. The forgotten man, Norman Sneed, does the deed here with a six-point pass to Timmy Brown. This touchdown puts Philadelphia back in the ball game at 21 to 13. That's too close for comfort, says Sonny Jurgensen, who replies with a pass to Charlie Taylor. Taylor, the rookie speed burner from Arizona State, blows by the birds in a spectacular 66 yard play as Washington pulls away. Adolph Christian's Sonny Jurgensen throws his fifth touchdown pass of the game as he lays it on the Eagles with a scoring shot to Taylor. Jurgensen wins the battle of the quarterbacks and Washington wins the war 35 to 20. At the halfway point of the NFL season, the Redskins are just beginning to gel and quarterback Sonny Jurgensen is primed for a big day against the defending world champion Chicago Bears. Late in the second period, Jurgensen plays beat the clock and hits the jackpot. Fleet receiver Angela Coya blows by the Bears in an arrow pattern to give Washington a 13-6 lead at intermission. Coya, who has obtained in a trade from the Bears, has the last laugh on Chicago. In the third quarter, Sam Huff, another new Redskin, blitzes Billy Wade off his feet, and the Redskins go into the fourth period all tied. <laughs> Trying to break the 13-13 standoff, Billy Wade takes to the air, but the Chicago sharpshooter is shot down. Redskin rookie Paul Krause picks off his pass and returns to the Bears 44. Krause, number 26, is a first-year man from Iowa, and he leads the NFL in pass interceptions. The stalemate is shattered when Jurgensen combines with Koya, who retains possession long enough to tally a touchdown, despite the violent protestations of Dave Witzel. The Bears get a quick touchdown and deadlock the game again. Wade throws to Joe Marconi, and we're right back where we started. With four minutes to play, the Redskin Brain Trust plots a plan of action. Sonny Jurgensen transforms the theory into practical application with a screen pass to Don Bossler. Riley Matson eradicates Roger LeClaire as Bossler beats a pass to the Chicago 18. Jurgensen triggers the winning touchdown with a shot to Preston Carpenter. 
Carpenter hammers into the end zone as the resurgent Redskins rally to snatch a victory out of the paws of the world champion Bears. Sixty thousand Philadelphians flood Franklin Field to see former favorite Sonny Jurgensen in Redskin regalia. Coach Bill McPeak is pleased with the trade, for Jurgensen leads Norman Sneed in the passing department. Bobby Mitchell comes into this game as a top Redskin receiver, and his 35 catches are fourth high in the NFL. In the opening period, we find King Hill punting for Philadelphia. That's Atkins returning for the Redskins, and with the key block from Rod Breedlove, Purvis does yeoman service as he wins his way 68 yards to the Eagle One. Charlie Taylor takes care of that final yard, and Washington takes charge of the game. Following the kickoff, Fred Williams forces Earl Grow to fumble. The race for the free ball is won by Washington's Paul Krause. The rapid striking Redskins tomahawk the Eagles as Jurgi pierces their pass defense with a touchdown toss to Bobby Mitchell. Feature camera spotlights Mitchell's moves. Bobby Speed carries him to a rendezvous with the ball while a trio of Eagles touch nothing but air. Score, Washington 14, Philadelphia nothing. <laughs> Sneed attempts to pass for the Eagles, but Norm is interred by two former teammates. John Paylock and Joe Rutkins lead the assault as the Redskins bury Philadelphia and sweep the season series. In the Steel City, a Washington victory can carry the Redskins past Pittsburgh in the Eastern Conference standing. Sonny Jurgensen takes aim on Angie Coy in the second period with a skyscraping pass. The play covers 80 yards, and it's Washington's longest of the season as the Redskins rocket to a 13 to nothing lead. <laughs> Pittsburgh marches downfield with Ed Brown calling the shots. Dick Hoke swings into the flat, grabs the ball, and with plenty of blocking support, Hope heads goalward. Jimmy Carr strips away part of the interference, while Huff, Sanders, and Krause combine to halt Hope. The Steeler drive is stopped, and Jurgensen returns to duplicate his earlier cross country connection. Charlie Taylor is a receiver as Sonny hurls his second 80-yard touchdown pass of the day. At the half, Washington owns a 20 to nothing advantage. The Redskins featured one of the finest defensive secondaries in the NFL, and here's why. That's Johnny Sample giving Pittsburgh a big sample of Washington's ball hawking prowess and the Redskins lead by 27 points. Bill Nelson tries his luck at quarterback, but the only luck he finds is John Paylock. Big John spins him down for a nine yard minus as the Redskins creep up on the Eastern Conference leaders by shutting out Pittsburgh.
the Dallas Cowboys gallop into D.C. Stadium, where the Washington defense is waiting to ambush. Led by middle linebacker Sam Huff, the D.C. defense is maturing into one of the roughest in the NFL. Dallas finds this to be a fact as Joe Rutkins leads a first quarter blitz against Don Meredith. Don's hurried pass is swiped by John Rigger for a Redskin touchdown. The Cowboys canter to the Washington 22, where Jimmy Carr drives Don Meredith to his knees with a fierce tackle to halt the Dallas assault. The Redskins don their war paint as Jurgensen passes to Charlie Taylor. Taylor falls in behind Vince Promuto, who escorts him to the Washington 41. Jurgensen stands firm in the passer's pocket while waiting for Carpenter to clear. Preston makes the connection, and it's a 30-yard plus for the Redskins. Washington carries a one-point lead into the second quarter as Jurgensen goes gunning for the long gainer. Mitchell catches the ball in a crowd, but the play is wiped away by a penalty. The Cowboys mount up as Jim Steiger gallops out of the end zone and stampedes through the Washington wigwam. After a 64-yard chase, Paul Krauss loops a lasso around Steiger to apply the stopper. Don Meredith bids to foil the Redskins with a screen pass. Joe Rutkins proves himself an excellent diagnostician as he envelops Amos March for a six-yard loss. Later, Dallas is in punt formation. Bob Pellegrini impedes the punter's progress, resulting in a blocked kick, and Washington gains possession on its 39-yard line. With time expiring, Jurgensen commences to riddle the middle of the Dallas defense with an 18-yard completion to Carpenter. A sideline confab is called with 17 seconds to play. Time is a prime factor as Sonny rifles an out pattern pass to Carpenter, who tight ropes his way to the Dallas one. <laughs> Disdaining the field goal, the Redskins go for all the marbles. Jurgensen nudges into the end zone, and Washington walks off the field with a halftime margin of 14 quarter, Bobby Mitchell turns a short pass into a long gain as he sprints up the sideline for 39 yards. <laughs> Sonny Jurgensen has built a reputation with the long bomb. The classy redskin passer draws a beat on Angie Koya and hits him right in the hand. 
Saints. 59 yards later, Washington has another touchdown. In the final frame, Jurgi fires another arrow for the Redskins. It's a delayed screen to Charlie Taylor, and as Taylor roams the cowboy range, it's easy to see why number 42 was named NFL Rookie of the Year. When Dallas gains possession, the other half of Washington's dynamic rookie duo takes charge. It's Paul Krause stealing a cowboy pass. Paul's legal larceny earned him a berth in the Pro Bowl, and it paces Washington to a 28-16 win over Dallas. <laughs> Tied for third place in the East, the Redskins are ready for those New York Giants. In the first period, Vince Permuto's blocking helped shake Purvis Atkins free for a 12-yard plus. O'Brien, Carpenter, and Atkins open the door for Charlie Taylor, who dents the New York defense for 13 additional yards. Having established his running game, Jurgensen fools the Giants with the slant in pass to Carpenter, which puts Washington in the driver's seat. In the second quarter, Gary Wood, the young Ivy Leaguer, teams with veteran New York fullback Alex Webster on a 40-yard pass play. who looms as the successor to Y.A. Tittle, spears Aaron Thomas for a first down on the Redskins' 15. A three-play, 80-yard drive is climaxed by Joe Morrison. Joe spins out of a tackle and tears to a touchdown to pace the big city boys to the lead. Redskins apply their war paint and Jurgensen drums up heap big trouble for the Giants with a 25-yard pass to Carpenter. Sonny punctures the New York pass defense as he zeroes in on Charlie Taylor for a touchdown to put the Skins back on top. Gary Wood drives the Gothamites upfield as he throws to Frank Gifford. Gifford, one of New York's all-time heroes, has retired, and that's good news for defensive halfback. In a real seesaw battle, New York rises to the top as Wood teams with Thomas to give the Giants a four-point edge. Later, young Mr. Wood is assailed by Messrs. Tonov, Snido, and Rutkins, and his resulting fumble is recovered by Jim Carr on the New York 17. Sonny Jurgensen places an immediate call to Bobby Mitchell, who answers with a dandy reception to bolt the Redskins back in front. In the final period, a quick pitch out to Taylor. 
jars the Giants for 27 yards. Jurgensen makes things sunny for the Redskin Rooters. He dispatches a touchdown pass to Mitchell as Washington asserts its superiority. The New Yorkers are on the ropes and Jurgensen sets them up for the knockout punch with a 29-yard pass to Charlie Taylor. J.W. Lockett counts the Giants out as he slams into the end zone to lock up a 36-21 victory over the New York Giants. This is Paul Krause, the Redskins' number two draft selection, who earned all pro honors in his rookie year. Krause, a 198-pound defensive back, was an offensive end in his college days at Iowa. That's Krause intercepting a pass against the St. Louis Cardinals. In 1964, Paul led the NFL with 12 interceptions. Just 22 years old, Paul Krause should be a good one for many more seasons. Washington's number one draft pick, Charlie Taylor, broke into the league in spectacular style and went on to capture Rookie of the Year honors. Taylor was Washington's leading rusher, and his total of 755 yards gained was six best in the NFL. Taylor's a swift 215-pound power running halfback is also a threat as a receiver. The former Arizona State star caught 53 passes in his rookie season for 814 yards. Charlie was the Redskins' second leading receiver. With all the makings of a superstar, Charlie Taylor, along with all the other veteran Redskin standouts, will be back in action at D.C. Stadium this fall. Plan to be on hand and see for yourself that there's no football like NFL pro football. The Washington Redskin highlights have been presented in cooperation with the American Oil Company and its dealers. And this is Jim Gibbons, reminding you that only American oil dealers offer both certified lead-free Amoco gasoline, the only one, and the American final filter. Your assurance the gasoline you buy is filtered just as it goes into your tank. Lead-free Amoco and American final filter. Two big reasons why you expect more from American and you get it.